I got a problem. Big problem. It's New Things Day. There's so much new stuff, uh, including the camera. I'm not sure if I should have started with this camera in this video because this video may end up being a long time. So many new things. I should just jump right into it, but I need to say that this camera, I believe, though maybe better video quality, the audio quality is suffering. Um, I'm not sure of that, but I think so. If it's awful, if it's that bad, you, you can leave now. I will never know. It doesn't matter. That's on you. Um, but if it is worse and it's almost unbearable, let me know because I will not use this camera anymore or at least try to find a way around using the camera as the microphone as well, which I struggled to figure out how to do. I'm not very good at things. Um, I'll start, I guess, with comics. I got so much shit. It's my birthday week. Um, tomorrow, actually, is my birthday. So I got a lot of new things. And there was some big, uh, some big stuff going on. But first, I got my lenticular cover of Batman, which uh, didn't come in last week, but I got it now. I have so much stuff, I don't know where to put these things. I honestly have no idea. Hopefully I'll move when I'm done. Uh, Detective Comics number 955. Action Comics number 978. Love that cover. Wonder Woman number 21. Commandy number 4 of 12. Sorry, Commandy Challenge number 4 of 12. Mother Panic number 6. Doom Patrol number 6. Underwinter issue 2. Archie Comics presents One Shot Big Moose. I'm excited about that. This is the. Oh, what cover is this? It is the. Good. Good. Not tell me that. Okay. I gotta give credit for this cover artist because I always do with the Archie books. I wish I could do it with every book, but I hard to figure out sometimes some of these books I don't know if you can hear me when I'm whispering like that I don't know if it's whispering at all um, it's also might be off-putting that I keep looking not into the camera but like near it because I'm used to the camera being like on the screen and now it's not exactly on the screen so that could be off-putting I could be doing everything wrong just everybody everybody's triggered everybody could be triggered right now and I don't oh this is the Corey Smith cover Whew, a lot of bullshit for that Deadpool vs. Punisher number 2. Occupy Avengers number 6. Ultimates 2 number 6. Mighty Thor number 18. Man Thing number 3. Old Man Logan number 22. Which, we'll see. Infamous Iron Man, number seven. A lot of books. Uh, WWE, number four. And Thanos, number six. Then my back issue of the week uh, is Young Romance, number 169. Which I'm kind of excited about. Just a little sticker. Residue up at the top corner there by the number. Uh, but... That was my back issue. And then I picked these up at a different store. Um, and this will segue right into the other thing I got at that same store. This is Luke Cage, number 12. Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, number 12. Uh, Luke Cage, Power Man, number 21. Where he battles Power Man. Action Comics, number 458. Marvel 2 and 1, Thing and Stingray, number 64. And finally, Marvel Premiere number 45 featuring Man Wolf. Okay, from that, I guess segue into the other thing I got at that place. Um, after I find a place to put these books. Um, I, as you may or may not know, I also collect board games. So I saw this and I've never seen it before, so I had to get it. This is the Milton Bradley 
very loud, the Milton Bradley 1985 No Respect, which is Rodney Dangerfield's game. Rodney Dangerfield has a game. This is it. I haven't played it yet. The interesting thing is that I believe it says it's for adults. Um, ages 8 to adult. In the picture on the back, everybody has a drink. Everybody. They all need drinks to play this game, apparently. So that should definitely be fun. Um, my local FYE is going out of business. So I went back and picked up some more things for very cheap. Uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, seventh season. Now the only season I don't have is the sixth. Um, I don't know if... I don't know when the show ended, um, but the only one I don't have is a six, up to seven at least. A Glee, the first season. By the way, I got these for like dollars. Like Kirby Thuz has them like two bucks. This is like a dollar seventy four. Um, I've never watched Glee. I I'm a big musical fan though. I'm a big fan of musicals, so we'll see how that is. Thirty Rock season two. I got this for like eighty five cents. That's a crazy amount of money for this. Other way though. And then lastly, Vice Principles Season 1, which I got this for, I think, 6 bucks, which is a steal on that as well. And I guess transitioning from that into these, um, I also grabbed a couple more vinyl while I was there. It was pretty picked thin, pretty much pretty well picked thin, picked pretty well thin. But I did pick up um, Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly. I'm a huge Kendrick fan. Big Kendrick fan, and this is a necessity. It was a necessity in my collection. Um, Gatefold, 2LP, Standard Black. Then I picked up the final album and self titled by Yellow Card. Uh, Gatefold as well. Uh, but this one is actually colored vinyl. Nah, I need to bring this two out. It's very minimal. This one you can see it very well. The other one you cannot. Um, that side's etched. I don't know if you can see the etching. But, see, it's very minimal. It's almost like a smoke type of... I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's it's interesting. Um, but it's kind of fitting for their last album, I guess. It being their last album, why not make it, you know, less about the color and more about the music. Um, also, wow, so much shit. I'm going to try to get through it. I'm going to try to get through it fast, but I need a drink. It's the last polar seltzer I have. And I kicked it over and I can't open it now, so let's keep moving. Uh, record store day. Saturday. Last Saturday was record store day. So, went out, got some exclusives, got some record store day exclusives, got a few things that were just interesting to me. Um... This, I wish I had these open because now I feel like an idiot and I'm wasting time opening these up. This came out this year for Record Store Day and I was super excited to get this. This is Distillers Coral Fang. Um, I kind of don't want to show the cover because it's a little risque. Um, but this is a colored vinyl uh, and it is a gorgeous colored vinyl. In this gorgeous red, although it looks kind of orange on the camera, I guess. I don't know if it translates better. There we go, it's more like it. But it's, it's red. It, does, it looks orange kind of through light, I guess. But I love this album, and I'm really excited to get it. Really excited to have it, I guess I should say. And now i got to put all these back in here. And that wastes more time. Oh boy, now we're stuck. Yeah, this is fun. This is what you tuned in for. Me putting vinyl back in bags. Okay, distillers. Uh, next up, I got this. Uh, it's it, it's Zarface. And you'll actually, as comic fans will recognize this cover, well, at least the, that's probably loud. At least recognize the design of it, the book and record set. Um, Zarface is a hip-hop 
I don't know what side I'm doing. New camera. It, they're a hip hop super group uh, consisting of uh, one member of Wu Tang. I wish I could remember who it is, and then like a super producer. But this is the the sleeve, and then the book itself is well. There's the album, just standard black. But the sleeve itself is the book. Uh, it's called First Weapon Drawn. Uh, the art's very Kirby-esque, if I'm being honest. Um, if you can see it there. I'm excited to... I haven't put this on the turntable yet. I haven't done anything with it. But it just it, it drew my eyes immediately. And I just had to, I had to have it. There, there was another one similar of the book and record sets. It was a Buster Rhymes and Eminem uh, thing. But I personally, I'm not an Eminem fan. So I did not get that. Next up is a single, actually. Uh, well, kind of. Nope, it's definitely the single. Yeah, kind of. Uh, it's the Mo Money Mo Problems, featuring Puff Daddy and Mace. Uh, also includes uh, Fuck You Tonight, uh, featuring R. Kelly, which I'm sure is magic. Standard black vinyl on that. Um, last thing I got from there... It, actually, I'm very interested by this. It's kind of a... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's kind of a underground pressing, I believe. This is uh, Danzig and Doyle play Misfits. Uh, and if you're a Misfits fan, you know who both of those people are, Danzig as well as Doyle. Uh, but this is like a, kind of a... There's like three different live shows on here. There's one in Philly in 05, um, and then in L.A. in... 2007, and then in Glendale in 2012, are just playing different songs. The Glendale one's unplugged, the LA one's on Halloween, and the Philly one, I guess, is just Philly. Uh, but I, I was really excited to see this, and it's really different. I've never seen this around before, uh, and that artwork is fucking awesome. I'm a big, big fan of that artwork. So couldn't pass that up. Excited to have that. Okay, proceed to... Saturday went to the Science March in Pittsburgh uh, on the way home, stopped off at a, at a, at a, at a bookstore, which is where I got another box of books that sit at my feet. I, this is my problem. This is my problem. So many books, so much shit. But, um, got some vinyl at the Barnes & Noble. I went just to see what their exclusive stuff was. Sometimes they have some exclusive things. They didn't have any sales or anything for Record Store Day, which is shitty. I get there a bookstore, but fuck you. Uh, but I did pick up uh, Run the Jewels. Run the Jewels' first album, which I did not have. And it is on... Oh, there goes the download card. Uh, I believe it is... Yes, it is on a... Now, they say it's gold, but I think this is more yellow than gold. It's more transparent yellow. Um, but again, I guess... The light is what does it all. I guess it kind of looks gold there. Uh, but it looks more orangish yellow. Not on camera. Excited to have that, though. I, I, I love Run the Jewels. I'm a, I'm a big Run the Jewels fan. And then I did have Kendrick's um, Mad, Mad City album. But then I saw this. And I could not pass it up. And I actually put Kendrick's back for this. Because I, I've seen Kendrick's around before. Haven't seen this before. Haven't seen uh, Run the Jewels for the price I got it at anywhere. This is Moana on vinyl. The songs. Moana the songs. The song, the main song, uh, the, the song that's reprised throughout the movie is fucking amazing. It still gives me chills when I listen to it. Um, I, I watched Moana for the first time last week. I finally got around to watching it. And I fell in love. I absolutely adore this movie. Watched it again. Watched it again. I love this movie. I love the songs. Lyndon Mo Miranda did amazing things with it. Uh, even the rocks part isn't bad. Uh, I'm a big fan of this though. And this is just playing into my Moana excitement right now. Along that line, transition to another licensed cereal that I got. This is Disney's Moana cereal with Island Marshmallows. No ridiculous flavors, no different flavors on this. Not blueberry flavored cereal, just standard Lucky Charm type cereal. Uh, but 
it's actually decent. The marshmallows are really good. The the actual cereal pieces are not as poor quality as some of the other licensed cereals have been. Uh, I know it probably sounds like I'm being very weird about it, but it is strange that I love Moana so much and that I got this cereal and it's not as bad as the other licensed cereals. It sounds like that I want it to be better because it's Moana, but that's not really the case. Uh, but I, I had to get this and it is a two-sided box. So Maui and Moana both. Only problem is there's no Hey Hey on the box. And along with that, I had to give it a shot, and uh, the Crave Double Chocolate, now with more chocolate. I didn't think it was lacking in chocolate before, but I guess if they had more, we'll give it a shot. It's it's still Crave cereal. It's not the it's it's not been a favorite of mine. I didn't grow up with it. It's okay. Uh, I'm 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 I like chocolate cereals. I, I thought this was too much chocolate prior. Uh, I guess if you're really into chocolate cereals, this is going to be one for you because there's, 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 it's, it's a good cereal. The concept is good. The, the, the creation of it is good. The, the shit, everything's good about it, except I'm not the biggest chocolate cereal fan, so that's where that falls. Um, and so I don't have to put this box uh, of books over here with the other three boxes and two stacks I have. I'm just going to go through the box now. So then I could put some of these books away and be done. There's some graphic novels in here. There's some other stuff in here. Let's just jump in, I guess. Uh, first up is James Bradley's, and I'll play a little bit of the book game if I can. James Bradley's The Imperial Cruise, uh, A Secret History of Empire and War. A lot of these books I didn't know much about, and they just looked good, and I got them for a really good price. This has a cover price of $16.99. $16.99. So if I had to wager a guess... I don't know, 2011. I honestly have no idea. I'm judging this book by the cover. Uh, and this was 2009. 2009, so it's pretty close. I have nowhere to stack these. Next is Frost on My Mustache, uh, The Arctic Exploits of a Lord and a Loafer by Tim Moore. Cover price on this of 12.95, 2006, I would say. This was way off 1999 but this is a 2001 uh, publishing of that next up is a hardback copy of John Saul's The Right Hand of Evil I'm a big John Saul fan I remember reading this a long long time ago I don't really remember much of the story and I also don't remember if it was new when I read it or not cover price on this thing uh, is it doesn't say which is interesting it being a hardback that was event had to be in a store at some point but if I had to wager a guess I think I read this well it belonged to Kelly at one time I think I read this in I don't know 99 maybe 2000 I read this so I'm gonna say 97 this thing came out and I could be way off oh 99 I guess this was new when I read it, it was new when I read it interesting next up Paul Goldstein's Havana Requiem Got a little vinyl action on the cover. Not for just the reason I got it. It sounds interesting. It's kind of a uh, suspenseful law mystery, which should be interesting to go for. Cover price on this twenty six bucks. Twenty six dollars for this thing initially. I I'm gonna say I'm gonna go stick with twenty eleven. I think twenty eleven is the year this one came out. And this book came out in twenty twelve, almost, almost. Next up is Friends of Liberty, Thomas Jefferson, um, I can't read the name, it, uh, Tadius, oh boy, Tadius Kosuko, T-A-D-E-U-S-Z-K-O-S-C-I-U-S-Z-K-O, and Agrippa Hall, uh, A Tale of Three Patriots, Two Revolutions, and the Tragic Betrayal of Freedom in the New Nation, by Gary B. Nash and Graham Russell Gow Hodges. Um, I love things like this. Cover price $19.99. Uh, could not be out any other time other than 2007, I'm going to say. 2007 on this guy. Uh, 2012. Well, 2008. But this is the first paperback edition, 2012. 2008, but 2012. Uh, next up is Memoirs of an Invisible Man. It's a novel by H.F. Saint. 
I think it's Saint. Uh, I'm trying to find his name so I can, when it's not in, yes, H.F. Saint, cover price $18.95 on Memoirs of an Invisible Man. And I'm going to say 19, no wrong, 20, 2002. 2002 on Memoirs of an Invisible Man. I think it's earlier, granted, but I'm going to say 2002. Uh, oh yeah, way, way off. Way, way off. Uh, this is 1987. 1987. Uh, next up, it's a Barnes & Noble Classics edition of Pride and Prejudice. Tara's favorite book. She collects all the copies. Uh, if this is a double, uh, she's gonna hear. She's gonna catch hell. Not really. Uh, but I, uh, I told her to keep track of the copy she has because every time she sees a copy, she's not sure if she has it. Um, and then the app, I keep track of all our books on. Sometimes the pictures don't exactly sync up with the copies we have. They're not the exact right pictures. Uh, that, that's probably on me. I should probably fix that. But added another one to the collection. Oh boy, um, Manana. Uh, that and there's a yeah, there's a uh, symbol above the end that means something, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. By William Schwartzberg. Cover price thirteen ninety nine. Paperback uh, nineteen. No, wrong. Twenty ten. Twenty ten on this thing. And it was 2015. Way off. Way off. Next up is Peter May's The Chess Men. I know nothing about this book. It looked interesting. The back sounded interesting. Uh, cover price $14.99. The problem with this is it's the last one of a trilogy. And I didn't know that. There's no, there's no telling of any other books involved with this on this book or in this book. Uh, so $14.99. 2011, 2013, I want to say 2013, 2013, 2013, 2013, 2012, right in the middle, right in the middle. The story of Edgar, whew, the story of Edgar Sawtiel by David Robolinski, 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 David Robolinski. Uh, it's uh, an Oprah's Book Club book, cover price on it is $16.99. Uh, this might be a tearjerker. Uh, reading the back, I've, I, I noticed that this thing might cause me to cry. Uh, I'm going to go 2012 again. I think that's a nice hot place to stay. Uh, after we get past the blurbs. And it is 2008. This is the first eco edition published in 2009. But 2008 on that thing. Um, here we go, Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, a complete unabridged illustrated edition of one of the world's best loved novels. Um, again, Tara, but this thing is pretty sweet. Uh, it just it, It's just your standard novel, basically, but there are illustrations throughout. It's actually pretty pretty sweet. Uh, got that for like two bucks. Can't beat that. Uh, Into the Wild, John Krakauer. I wish it would have been a copy that wasn't the movie cover. I don't really like movie, the, the, the books that kind of piggyback on the movie, but I lost my copy a long time ago. I, I, I misplaced it. I lent it to somebody. I don't know. I know I didn't have it in my collection, so at least fill the slot for now until I get another issue. Issue? Until I get another copy. Uh, next, The Girl Who Fell from the Sky by Heidi W. Duro. Cover price on this thing of $22.95. I'm going to say 2014, this thing, 2014, and it's 2010, four years off on The Girl Who Fell From The Sky. I told you there's a lot of shit. I told you there's a lot of shit, and I apologize. Next up is Time and Again by Jack Finney, cover price $14.95, kind of a time traveling book, I believe, something similar to time travel, I don't know, something interesting, I'll let you know once I read it. Cover price fourteen ninety five. I would say twenty oh seven. Twenty oh seven. Where's the copyright page? Is there not a copyright page? There has to be a copyright page. And it is wow, it's way off. This is I don't even. I'm not even thinking at this point. This is the first Scribner paperback uh, fiction edition in ninety five. 
originally published in 1970, way, way off. Um, being at the Science March uh, made me think about, you know, the world a little more, think about nature a little more, and uh, I found this for very cheap, so I picked it up. Earth in the Balance, Ecology and the Human Spirit, um, Al Gore. So when I plan on feeling bad and sad and depressed about this country, wrong, about this world, then I guess I'll pick that up and delve into it. Uh, next, again, I got, actually we stopped at a good one on the way, and that's where I got Al Gore and this book. And I, I still don't know why there's a lot of hate for this guy. Um, I, I've never experienced anything bad that he's done. Um, I mean, he's done some, some poor work here and there, but I feel like he's just a good guy. Uh, this is Kevin Smith's My Boring Ass Life, The Uncomfortably Candid Diary of Him. I, I've never had a problem with Kevin Smith. I don't see, I know there's a lot of hatred out there for him, but I don't know exactly where it stems from. If, if there is a reason, let me know. Maybe open my mind to it. Uh, next up, Brad Meltzer's The Millionaires. I know I didn't do a year on either of those, guys. It's There's so much shit. I mean, I'm almost done, but there's so much shit. Brad Meltzer's The Millionaires, hardback. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big Meltzer fan, I'm going to be honest. Uh, $25.95 cover price. 2011. Go stick with 2011. It's been, it's been a good year for me. It's been wrong. Uh, 2002, way off. 2002 on Brad Meltzer's Millionaires. Uh, okay, okay. Now the good stuff. This is the good stuff. That's what you came for. This is Imperial by Steven Siegel and Mark Dos Santos. Mark Dos Santos. Uh, an image? Nope. Not an image book, is it? No, it is a... Yeah, it is an image book. I know nothing about this. I got it for two bucks. Decided to give it a shot. Looks decent. If you've ever read this, let me know. Is it good? Um, Ultimate Spider-Man, Volume 2. Again, two bucks. I have volume one. I don't know where I got number one, but I have volume one, so I guess I'm starting a trade collection to that. Um, the Luna Brothers Sword, The Sword, volume one, Fire. Image book, collects the sword one to six. Never heard of it. And then these were pretty sweet. I got all these for five bucks a piece. I got these for five dollars a piece. First up is Roy Thomas Presents Frankenstein. Uh, the classic series written and drawn by Dick Breifer. I might be pronouncing that name wrong. This is volume three that collects... It usually says it. I don't know why this one doesn't. This one doesn't say it. I don't know. Oh, this is 1945 to November. It should say November 1945 to December 1946. But it's, it's hardback. A collection of some... Of the old Frankenstein stuff. And then I got um, Rula, Jungle Goddess, Volume 2, August 1948 to June 1949, Issue 17 to 27. Another Roy Thomas Presents book. Uh, excited about this. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, pre I'm, this might be the most I'm excited about. It's one of these. Um, and I just, I, I love that look of that. Also, Rolla Volume 3, which is November 47 to July 49. Which looks like she may have been in all top comics at the time. And that just, that just looks beautiful. I don't know if you can see that on my camera or not. I don't know if you can hear me. The audio might be too bad. And then lastly, I got Planet Comics Volume 1, January to April 1940, issues 1 to 4. That's last. That's lastly. And that looks amazing. And then that's it in this box. <sighs> so much shit. This hat's not really new. It was in the podcast last week. If you want to watch that um, or listen to it, the link should be down below. I think I forgot to do that last week. Links will be down below. Uh, links to everything will be down below. My Twitter, um, Six Gaming Channel, which we kind of have a wrestling promotion going on on it. I shouldn't have shaken that up. I think we made it. In record time. Maybe the fastest I've ever went through things. Um, and though this video may be a little longer than some other ones, if a more streamlined me is kind of what you want, I can make it happen. Um, I'm just really good at talking, and sometimes I get carried away. 
But if somebody says, like, hey, the more streamlined you is better, um, I could do that and then talk at other places. Um, I lost, I had my, I had my mouse around here. It's gone. I don't know where it is. Uh, I don't know where my books are to hold up. I'm not going to put Batman on the top or keep these packages here because I have too many books already. I'm trying to go on a hike. Now i got to go clean this up. I might not. I might leave and clean it up later. But, thank you for watching. If you made it this far through the new camera, through the bullshit, through all the new things, through me shamelessly saying it's my birthday tomorrow, uh, through, again, the shitty audio, I genuinely thank you, and I genuinely appreciate you. Um, thank you. And have a wonderful day. Love yourself. Love each other. And always read Archie. I don't like the way this is angled. I don't like the way it's framed up. I'm going to go back. Let's go the other way. Let's go the other way. Let's go this way. How's that look? Is that better? Let's bring us on. And see. I hope this camera works. I hope this wasn't a waste of a half hour of my time. If it was, there will be an amazing video of me stomping the mother...